I'm here to tell you how you can build a house without money and without electricity. In fact, um, lack of electricity will save you lots of money because it makes, makes it pretty pointless to buy power tools. So, uh, when I was a little girl, my dream was to build a house on an island. I also fantasized about traveling in time and uh, taming wild horses, but I kept getting back to building a house on an island with my bare hands. And um, when I got a daughter of my own, this dream grew stronger because I wanted her to have summer holidays in the archipelago of Stockholm, which is the most beautiful place in the world, in case you didn't know that. So, uh, um, this was a dream. And uh, that became the reality. It's a uh, swamp in a jungle, basically. All of this is from the same island, but this was the property I could afford. You'd be surprised how affordable swamps are, it's lovely. <laughs> um, so, um, then I had no money. And if you guys want to build a house and you don't have any money, what you need to do is learn how to do the job yourselves, and then you can get the material for free by recycling. So, for instance, this is a house on the same island. Uh, they had their fireplace redone and their chimney, so I asked if I could have their old bricks. And these were 18th century bricks. Beautiful quality. They've been around for 300 years, they're not going to dissolve anytime soon, but they're heavy. And you can't get to this island by car, so my means of transporting these bricks was a wheelbarrow. Uh, and I could take four at the time, and each round across the island would take roughly half an hour, so that was a very good workout. And uh, <laughs> then I built myself a fireplace. A um, little crooked, but it works. So, basically what you need to understand if you plan to build a house uh, with recycled material is that the collecting of the material is going to take just as much time and energy as the building of the actual house. Um, so, for instance, people may tell you that it's rather pointless to try and recycle boards because you have all these old nails, old rusty nails, and it's so hard to pull them all out. But I disagree, because I hate it when perfectly fine boards go to waste. Uh, so, um, this is happening all the time, because perfectly fine houses are torn down just to make room for new houses, and they throw away the materials. So, you can even um, offer to tear down the house for the owners in exchange for getting the material for free. Uh, it's lots of fun, I promise. And then you tear, or you pull the nails out, and um, then you will build a wall that looks a bit scruffy because it's going to be full of holes. Um, and then at the hardware store, they may tell you that you need to buy a project like this. Um, but uh, <laughs> I advise against it because you will, you will use like this much to mend your holes in the wall, and then you want to use it again two months later. But then it's just rock hard, dried out, and completely useless. So, you have to get a new bottle. But, if you did do what they did in the old days instead, use moulding plaster. This is what they have in play schools when they make little figurines like these. <laughs> Theirs are probably nicer, but yeah. Um, <laughs> you can instead fix holes in your walls with it. So, what you do is, the genius part is that this is, um, this is um, a powder, right? So, if I could just have a glass of water, uh, which I have, <laughs> then I could just mix the precise amount that I need each time, so that I don't need to waste any of it. And that way, I can just fix my wall quite conveniently. You know. And this bag is going to last me a lifetime. And stinginess is great for the environment. At least that's my excuse. So, while all of this was going on, I kept taking my daughter back to this uh, mosquito-infected jungle. Uh, one of her absolute... Oh, yeah, that's her mindlessly waving her stick at the frozen swamp. Um, 
one of the first sentences was, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home to the apartment. She repeated that a lot. And uh, I'd go, just a minute, darling. Mum's just going to finish the house. <laughs> that took roughly 10 years. <laughs> and earlier today, I learned I could have done it in a year. Well, that's a bummer. Um, no, sorry, a day, a day. He said a day. It's crazy. I could have done it in a day. Anyway, um, we've had some lovely times in this house. And I've never regretted the decision to build us a house on an island, even though it's been years of bleeding, sweating, and uh, a couple of tears as well, to be honest. Uh, there might be sexologists who will tell you never to try and turn your fantasies into reality, because the reality is never quite like the dream. And I want to warn you about the opposite, like don't... I want to warn you not to try and turn your dreams into reality, because in my book, reality is always better. And uh, plus, it's a bloody good feeling when you've accomplished something like this. So, thank you very much. <laughs>